Uh, year 12, you literally hit every playground uh, except for the notorious Year 10 Heritage Yard. I think we saw enough footage of that yesterday uh, at the Blue and Gold Lunch. I think you've utilised that playground plenty over your time here at Lewisham. Uh, be proud of the fact that you've literally followed your footsteps all the way back to the primary plaza where it all began for many of you in 2013. Uh, boys, um, I'm really I'm proud of the fact that our junior school have welcomed you here today. Um, from the top of the Gallagher Circle, uh, they have watched you. Um, they have followed your lead and we're very proud of the fact that our prefects and our senior year have done so with pride this year. Um, it's by no accident that we welcomed you back pretty early after COVID lockdowns because we knew that you would settle our community and set the right example for them. Uh, just checking that any of our boys who are reading today uh, or who are involved in the processions have made their way down to the front. Uh, and then finally, gentlemen, we are now about to begin. So just make sure your mobile phones are on silent. And we begin today by welcoming Adrian Trousdale to our lectern. He's going to acknowledge country and he's going to welcome us here today. Uh, Adrian, don't forget, we've got all those families at home today uh, and they're watching in with great pride. Uh, really nice that many of you have taken time off work uh, and that some of you have gathered together as families in your households today. Uh, we're really looking forward to seeing how you're celebrating your son's graduation. I'd like to first start with the acknowledgement of country. Intertwined with the consecrated ground of the school is the soil that has been sacred to the Gadigal people of the greater Eora nation for tens of thousands of years. Today we acknowledge the descendants of all Aboriginal, Torres Strait Islander and South Islander people present here today and their elders past, present and emerging. Today we remember this was always and always will be Aboriginal land. Father Trevor, Brother Con, parents watching from home, staff, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2020. This day is an auspicious occasion for the class of 2020, and I would like to welcome you all officially, officially and warmly. So what does this day really mean to all of us? Our graduation, our journey at Christian Brothers, whether it be six or eight years, has been full of twists and turns, and never has been sure of an obstacle to overcome. This day is an accumulation of 13 years of schooling, all officially ending today. This graduating class has been part of many memorable moments and occasions of which will leave an indelible mark on all of us, including the Year 7 camp, the Rubicon experience, and our senior retreat last year. We will also be remembered as the class who experienced, worked through, and graduated with resilience during the COVID-19 pandemic. We join those other boys in our school's long history who studied through the other world-changing events such as the 1918 Spanish flu, wars including World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam and the Great Depression of the 1930s. On behalf of my peers, I would like to take this opportunity to thank those who have assisted us on our voyage through school. Truth be told, none of us would be sitting before you without them. To our parents and carers who cannot be here today because of COVID restrictions, how proud you must be to watch our boys transition into men. We are truly grateful of your compassion and dedication in raising us into respectful men. We thank you for being our pillars of strength and consistently reassuring us that we are both loved and cherished. This day we acknowledge you with our utmost gratitude. To our teachers, we thank you for the hard work and commitment in revealing us to do, to our, do our best, particularly during this pandemic year. We're grateful for constantly reminding us that we must strive to be our best and not do our best. And to the following Year 12 student and classmates, I am proud to share this moment with you. What an exceptional achievement to finally have made it here. For some, this might be the last form of education. For others, this is just the start embarking on tertiary education. Regardless of what our future endeavour may be, sure to take advantage of the opportunities that will rise in front of you. I stand here before you, proud to be part of an outstanding class, a class not only honours with those before them, but a class brimming with success. Please stand for our entrance procession led by Year 12 Music, and a reminder that we are unable to sing along to the hymns alongside our band.
of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we prepare to celebrate the Eucharist, let us acknowledge those times on our journey when we have been unkind to others and neglectful of our God. Let us pray together, asking the Lord's forgiveness. Together we pray, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned. Sin in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray and think in hope about the future. We thank you gracious God for the gifts of life, love and learning. We ask that you will always help us to use these gifts in your service. Give us a faith that is stronger than any doubt, a hope that we will see through the hard times, and a love that is sincere as we give ourselves in service. And we ask this through Christ the Lord. I'd like to be seated now for the readings. A reading from the book of Jeremiah. For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for peace and not disaster, to give you a future with hope. Then when you call upon me and come and pray to me, I will hear you. When you search for me, you will find me. If you seek me with all your heart, I will let you find me, says the Lord. And I will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and all the places where I've driven you, says the Lord. And I will bring you back to the place from which I sent you into exile. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, I will praise your name forever. I will praise your name forever. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us. I will praise your name forever. That your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. The earth has yielded its increase. God, our God, has blessed us. I will praise your name forever. May God continue to bless us. Let all the ends of the earth revere him. I will praise your name you to stand to welcome the gospel. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Jesus said, I am the vine. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I've invited Brother Paul to read the gospel because uh, this will be his swan song as well after leading this Catholic community for 12 year, 13 years. Uh, he moves out of this community, so I thought it would be fitting for him to read the gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that bears no fruit, he cuts away, and every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes to make it bear even more. You are pruned already by means of the word that I've spoken to you. Make your home in me as I make mine in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit all by itself, but must remain part of the vine. Neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me, with me, in him, bears fruit in plenty. For cut off from me, you can do nothing. The Gospel of the Lord. Last week, Brother Paul invited you all to participate in a number of activities centred around the process of a rite of passage. Nothing will be the same for you again once you leave the community of CBHS in Lewisham and enter the adult world. On Ancestry.com, the webpage has the following instruction. Start with what you know, look for the leaf, save it to your tree, and watch your family story grow. I would like to draw a parallel between searching our ancestry and the gospel about the vine. The image of the vine is used by Jesus to explain our deepest belonging. It is about the ultimate source of where we have come from and where we are headed. It is our community story, our story as a community, our story as individuals gathered here in the name of Jesus, in the name of Edmund Rice, in the name of the Christian Brothers Legacy, and in the name of the school community. Indeed, we gather in the name of Year 12, graduating class of 2020. The story of the vine is primarily about staying connected to the source, consciously and lovingly remaining connected to the source. So what is this source that I speak of? Ancestry.com leads us to our biological inheritance as a family identity. But when Jesus shares with his listeners the parable of the vine, he is inviting them to a deeper reality a deeper understanding and a deeper awareness as to why we are here, the purpose of our existence. Jesus is revealing the hidden message of the gospel. Jesus is tracing our source of identity of who I am to God, of who I am to Jesus. And for those who struggle with those concepts, or just simply, who am I to a higher power, if you wish? However, the branch of the vine that is cut off from the source can't last. It withers and dies. When Jesus spoke of the cut off branch, he meant a person who can only see through the small position of me. The self-centered person eventually withers and dies because the branch is cut off from its source. It might be viewed that our society today is largely populated by such cut off branches, while a commitment to the common good has become a rarity. Our source, our DNA, our ancestry is Jesus Christ. He is the bridge over the gap between me and the world. I am at home connected to the source 
and do not need to prove myself to anybody, nor do I need to be right, nor does everyone have to agree with me. Thomas Merton, a monk and an influential writer of the last century, a critical thinker, says this, true Christianity is growth in the life of the spirit, a deepening of a new life, a continuous rebirth, in which the exterior and the superficial life of the ego self is discarded like an old snake skin and the mysterious invisible self of the spirit becomes more present and more active. The true Christian rebirth is a renewed transformation, a Passover in which a person is progressively liberated from selfishness and not only grows in love, but in a sense becomes love. This new birth, which is your ancestry, traced back to God in Jesus, is reached when you discover there is no more selfishness, there is only love. So I just ask you to close your eyes for a minute and become aware as you leave this community that you are loved. I hope you find love in yourself and in others because love is what our existence in Jesus is all about. So let us pray that prayer for each other. We now have the prayers of intercession, so those who are praying on our behalf, if you'd like to come forward. We pray for all those who work in God's name. We ask that the Lord offers our leaders the strength and courage to preach and live the gospel message of love, peace and forgiveness. We pray for all those who work in God's name. Oh, sorry, I read the wrong one. I have to start this way. We join as a community that we may be truly grateful for God's gift. As we look to the future, we pray that God will be with us and shine on us. Sorry, Jaden. <laughs> we pray for all those who work in God's name. We ask that the Lord offers our leaders the strength and courage to preach and live the gospel message of love, peace, and forgiveness. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our families who cannot be with us today. May they remain strong, faithful, loyal, and compassionate. May they continue to show patience and understanding during these unprecedented times. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our teachers who have helped us mature into reputable, moral, faithful men. We ask you to continue to guide, shelter, and inspire them so they may teach with Christ as their guide. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are not as fortunate as those gathered here today. We ask that you nurture and cherish those who are still in lockdowns, who do not have a warm dinner every night and who have no one to love them. May they find comfort. As we journey forward, may we always be aware of the needs of those around us. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask your blessing on those members of our community who are sick, alone, or who have left us to be with you in your kingdom. We ask that you give their families and loved ones the strength and courage to endure their sadness. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the boys of this graduating class. May they have the courage to live the gospel, to live in service, and to strive for the crown. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray. For what has been in our lives, gracious God, we say thanks. For what is to come, we say yes. Make us people of gratitude and hope all the days of our life. And we ask this through Christ the Lord. And pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his church. Gracious God, may our prayer together increase our faith in your compassion, our companionship, our hope in your love our love for your people. As we offer this bread and wine, may we become strengthened in our friendship with you now and forever, and we ask this through Christ the Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercy and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, our brother, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners, and he became a neighbour to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your daughters and sons. And so with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name with the sing, the, and sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord. Amen. Amen. 
You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race, who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst, when we are gathered in your love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most holy, we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he suffered, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Saviour, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favour on the salvation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity together with Francis our Pope, Anthony our Bishop, with all bishops, priests and deacons and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labour and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember, Lord, our brothers and sisters who have died. I invite you with the communion of saints to remember those family members and loved ones who have died. Bring their names into your heart and memory. And all who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us that when our own earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to you to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in the communion of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, Saint Joseph the Worker, Saint Patrick, Blessed Edmund Rice, St. Chabal, St. Mina, St. Gerard, and St. Mary MacKillop. There, with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. We now stand, and as one community of brothers and sisters with Jesus, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we pray and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our day that by the help of your spirit 
we may always be freed and saved from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ for the kingdom, the power and the glory. Now and forever. Well, this will be one of the last opportunities that you will have to offer each other peace as a community. So fist pumping or elbowing, whatever you do. Let us turn to one another and offer that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Just distribute them in the other ways. This is Jesus Christ who asks you to remain in his love and to love one another. Happy are we who are called to this supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I will say the word of my son shall be.
dancing in the dead of night Take these broken wings and learn to fly All your life You are only waiting for this moment to arise Blackbirds singing in the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see All your life You are only waiting for this moment to be free Let us pray. God our Father, bless us as we go from this table of your love and from this community where you have been present among us. Bless us, bless all those who have given their time to us. Bless our parents and teachers. May we go forth confident in ourselves and willing to serve others. And we make this prayer through Christ the Lord. So I suppose it'd be better if the Year 12 graduates sit and if the, get this right, STL, PCs and Home Rent teachers to stand and extend your hand as we recite this blessing over you. So this is our blessing to you. The last time you'll have to listen to us, I suppose. May God as Father guide you May God as mother feed you. May God as son befriend you. May God as spirit inspire you. And may God who is always loving, always forgiving, and always offering a new beginning, go with you on your journey. Kanati Karina. Stand now and have the final blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Remain in peace. Thanks be God. That's it. Mr. MC, take over. Uh, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, if we can please be seated. For everyone at home, that's the end of Act One, Scene One <laughs> on today's production. Uh, for those people who are joining us at home and for our boys and staff here today, uh, we're now going to pause for a quick break. Uh, boys, an opportunity for you to go out, grab some fresh air, a quick drink of water. Uh, gentlemen, you'll be gathered back uh, in the plaza behind your house flags very shortly. Uh, and for everyone watching at home, uh, we will recommence our next broadcast uh, at 10.40 a.m. Uh, for the awards ceremony and for the final presentation of your sons to our community. Thank you, everyone.
morning, Brother Paul, Miss Ferugia, Father Terva, staff, Year 11 student representatives, and especially to our parents and families watching from home. Welcome to this extraordinary Year 12 Awards Assembly in what has been one of the most challenging years for our 2020 graduating class. This morning, we commence with acknowledgement of country by Mr Blake Griffith, and after which I'll ask Mr Valanchik to light the school candle and lead our community in prayer. As young men of Lewisham today, we witness the next step in the journey of life for our Year 12s. But in order to move them in forward, it is important for us to acknowledge the first steps embedded in this beautiful land in which we gather. To the Gadigal tribe, the elders, past, present and emerging, and the spiritual ancestors of the 29 tribes of the Euro Nation, it is to you that I pay respects today. I acknowledge these elders for being the first peoples of this land and thank them for their ongoing care, admiration and relationship to the land. I thank the Gadigal spirits, totems and ancestors for watching over leaders and our Year 12 mob today and for giving them the spiritual energy and grace to be strong leaders of the Lewisham clan. I ask the elders to keep watch over them so that one day they can be elders and leaders of their own communities. The, the Lewisham Meshes Dick has been here for many years and stories for our Year 12 boys and will be forever immersed within the Meshes Dick and the inspirational jerseys will be passed on to our future leaders. Boys, even though we've gathered in prayer again this morning, we need to recall that there are other people joining us here today, particularly our Year 11 cohort. So today we pray for this group of young men who finish their time with us and begin a new phase in their journey, which is their life. On behalf of the staff of Lewisham, my wish for them is that their time at Lewisham in partnership with their families, their parishes, has enabled them to know God through Christ, to hear his word, and to also be fully aware of the person of Edmund Rice. Our hope is that they will become men of integrity who are able and willing to take up the call to be witnesses to Christ. And today we begin with a reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Because the Lord said to me that before you were born, that I knew you by name. And before you were born, I selected each and every one of you to be prophets to all nations. And I answered him, Sovereign Lord, I do not know how to speak because I am too young. But the Lord said to me, do not say that you are too young, but go to the people that I send you and tell them everything that I command of you. Do not be afraid of them, for I will be there to protect you because I, the Lord, have spoken. Then the Lord stretched out his hand and touched my lips and said to me, Listen, I am giving you the words that you must speak. Today I give you authority over all nations, over all kingdoms, to pull them down and to tear them apart, to overthrow the evil and to build up and replant. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
So today we look to the future of our world with the words of the prophet Jeremiah. And in such an unusual year, his words still echo for us today. We keep in our minds as we pray for these young men of Lewisham who we send forth today and we pray that they are able to help those that are less able, the powerless, that they be men who are undaunted by the prospects of their future, who refuse to say that they are too young or too inexperienced to tackle life's problems, that they will work tirelessly to change anything that is unjust in our world and yet be unchallenged by that duty and that role for life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we ask Blessed Emin Rice to live Jesus in our hearts. Today is a very special occasion in the life of any student from Christian Brothers High School, Lewisham. 2020 marks the end of a special chapter in the lives of our Year 12 students. It's the end of their formal schooling education, essentially a rite of passage. Our graduating students will take with them the values of Christian Brothers High School, being love, compassion and justice. They graduate from our school as fine young men with a rich tapestry of Edmund Rice formative experiences. We pray they continue to be young men of faith, integrity, hope and moral purpose. We wish them well as they move on to the next stage of their life journey. Student leadership is an important feature of any school. It's more than just holding a title as a leader. In 2020, the school has been served well with a fine group of prefects. These prefects were well led by our captain, James Threckle. I now invite James to address our community for the final time. Good morning, Brother Con, family and friends viewing from home, staff, students, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2020. We are gathered here today to celebrate the end of each and every one of our journeys here at Christian Brothers High School, Lewisham. A journey that has tested us, developed our character, and made us stronger. Looking back over the years that have passed, much quicker than expected, I can only say that I'm very proud to be standing here along with my brothers as we prepare to exit the gates of Christian Brothers Lewisham together one last time. At the start of my tenure as school captain in late 2019, I asked the year group and the school to trust the process. And my word, what a process it has been. We have stood together in the face of adversity and persevered to endure a year like no other. I commend all of you on your efforts you have made to maintain strength and courage as we face the extraordinary circumstances surrounding the COVID pandemic. Arriving for my first day in year five, not knowing a single person in the entire school other than my brother, I was at first nervous, but soon became entrenched in the brotherhood that is present at this great school. The spirit of mateship within our year group, although split into differing parts of the yard, combines to form an unbreakable vibe of positivity that has stayed with us throughout our entire journey. We were quickly introduced to the expectations of Christian Brothers High School Lewisham, particularly in regards to hairstyles and facial hair. This robust and supportive leadership has ultimately fostered the talents of a diverse group of young men who have earned the rite of passage as they move on from their time at Lewisham into the real world. Our year group is reassured of our ability to step up to guide the school where Mr Kidd stated he had never been so worried about a year group leading the school in his entire time at Lewisham which of course stemmed from the McDonald balcony becoming a sports stadium and wet and wild within the space of a week. However, Mr Kidd has since retracted his statement. Well, we hope he has, as we have shown that our year group has had what it takes to lead our school successfully. Mr Ma has always kept the faith in our year group because like him, we are all just guys and we do make mistakes sometimes. The support of our year group as our year coordinator has been second to none 
and we thank you for sticking with us since day one, despite the many recesses and lunches spent sitting in the Superdome and McDonald Centre. Your 11 retreat enabled those interested in developing leadership qualities within the year group to show their true potential, with the added excitement surrounding the opportunities that 2020 would bring. I couldn't be more proud of the Prefect's efforts to make this strange year feel as normal as possible, and the way that they have all rallied together to support the graduating class of 2020. As a representative of the entire school community and Year 12, I'd like to thank every single teacher and the members of the SLT for their efforts in guiding us through high school, and in particular, this extraordinary year. I'd like to especially thank Ms Faruja for her courageous efforts as our acting principal during such a tumultuous time. Arriving at Lewisham every day would always put a smile on my face, whether it be a younger lad saying hello to me, or Manhandra, the school cleaner, giving me a nod and a friendly grin, or one of the teachers asking how my studies were going. These great memories of Lewisham, although minuscule in the moment, will forever remain with me. And I'm sure that I speak for the rest of the graduating class of 2020 when I say this. For those with aspirations of becoming a leader of this great school, just as I had from my early to mid years of high school, immerse yourself within the Lewisham culture. Being involved in the sporting, social justice and co-curricular aspects of the school provides great satisfaction and many wonderful memories, whilst also offering opportunities to express yourself as a leader. To Brother Con, this is just as much your farewell as it is ours. I'd like to thank you for your 13 years of service to Christian Brothers High School, Lewisham. The standards you have set are exceptional, and I'm sure most of us will never forget your words, evil triumphs when good men do nothing. The emphasis you have placed on right, relate, right and inclusive relationships has set an excellent precedent that I'm sure will forever be embedded within the school as it was within our year group. We will always be grateful for your role as a mentor and we would like to wish you well in your future endeavours as you take up your new role as the Deputy Province Leader of the Christian Brothers in the Oceania Province. We all came here from different places, but today we will leave here as brothers. To conclude, I want to wish you well in your lives. Whatever path you choose to take from here, never forget where you came from. Because success is not about the destination, it is about the journey. I've lived out over half my life at this school, and although I will no longer live at Christian Brothers High School Lewisham, Christian Brothers High School Lewisham will always live in me. For one last time, Kananti Corona, thank you. Thank you, James. We commence the formal proceedings of today by inviting Mr Keith Page, Assistant Principal Pedagogy, to present the academic awards to Brother Paul Conn. Brother Con, staff, families at home, and most importantly, the graduating Year 12 class of 2020. It is my honour to present the Year 12 Academic Award recipients, those students who, are, who have achieved first place in their Year 12 courses this year. Jackson Abreu, English Studies and Photography and Video, Digital Imaging. Jaden Barricade. Engineering Studies. Brody Baxter, Marine Studies. Carl Cassia, Information Processes and Technology. Jonathan Kremen. English Advanced, Mathematics Advanced, and Modern History. Anthony Fortini, Economics and Legal Studies. Alexander Harb, Business Studies, Legal Studies, and Studies of Religion I. Thomas Holland, Catholic Studies, Chemistry, Mathematics Extension 1 Component, Mathematics Extension 2, and Physics. Patrick Hughes, Italian Continuers and Music 1.
Tom Corrales, Mathematics Advanced 2 Unit Component and Mathematics Extension 1. Edmund Lau, Italian Extension. Michael Ma, Software Design and Development. Daniel Nader, Hospitality Vet. Jack Nicolau, Personal Development, Health and Physical Education. Costa Nicolau, Studies of Religion 2. Ivan Peros, Geography and Visual Arts. James Rua, English Extension 1 and English Extension 2. Terry Sarkis, English Standard. Benjamin Smith, Music 2. John Swade, Mathematics Standard 2. Nicholas Salas, Italian Beginners. Michael Toak, Industrial Technology. Adrian Trousdale, Ancient History. Matthew Turner, Biology and History Extension. And Tyrese Tutudua, Aboriginal Studies. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Academic Award recipients for 2020. This year, when it comes to musical performances, Year 12 students have been outstanding role models for our younger boys. Many of these students have been studying music for many years. Please welcome to our Year 12 music class performing Superstition by Stevie Wonder. Thank you. 
Thank you, Coach, for the call. Do you want me to mention it? Mr. Munoz would like me to um, mention that Michael Toke actually made his guitar in DT. Thank you, boys. That was fantastic. Uh, you can play at my 40th next year. Um, we continue with the award ceremony today by presenting the first of our special award recipients to Brother Paul Conn. We commence with the judge Coleman Wall Award for School Captain, the Australian Defence Force Long Tan Youth Leadership and Teamwork Award, and the Caltex Best All-Rounder Award to James Threckle.
the Brother Ambrose Tracy Award to the Vice Captains, Patrick Alexiadis. and Anthony Fortini. The Archbishop of Sydney Award for Student Excellence, Michael Marrera. The Archbishop James Carroll Award for Studies of Religion, Costa Nicolau. <laughs> the Brother J. Beckus Award for Mathematics, Dr. Victor Chang Award for Chemistry, and the Australian Defence Force Future Innovators Award, Thomas Holland. The Brother R. B. Healy Award for Modern History, Jonathan Kremen. The Michael Damien Forrester Award for Academic Excellence and the H. C. Malam Award for English, James Ruhr. The Albert Navati Award for Bandsman of the Year, Benjamin Smith. <laughs> the Greg McGrain Award for Academic and Sporting Excellence, Ellis Sheriff. The Bill Halsian Award for Sporting Excellence, Kai Hammond. And the Ruben F. Scarf Award for Commitment, Jordan Trasillo. Please join me in congratulating these boys on their fine, outstanding achievements. Each year, a select number of students from all over New South Wales are nominated by their teachers to receive a VET Excellence Award. In order for these students to be selected to receive the VET Excellence Award, they need to meet the following criteria. Have a consistently worked at a high level in all class activities. Have completed all assessment tasks to a high standard have displayed a positive attitude and interest in the VET subject, have completed the mandatory work placement component and received positive feedback from their host employers. It is my pleasure to present the following VET award recipients for 2020 to Brother Paul.
MWLP Student Work Placement Award for Automotive and the Southern Cross Catholic Vocational College Medallion for Automotive, Dominic Sayer. The Southern Sydney Business Education Network Award for Hospitality, Daniel Nader. Well done. And the Southern Cross Catholic Vocational College Medallion for Construction, Joseph Suka and Michael Tau. Please join me with me in congratulating these boys on a magnificent achievement. I now ask Mr Paul Maher, the Year 12 Coordinator, to present the Perfect Attendance Award recipients to Brother Paul Cobb. Brother Con, Ms Ferugia staff, parents, students, it gives me great pleasure to announce the students who have attained perfect attendance. Sebastian Arnone. Jaden Barakat. Jonathan Kremen. Luke Kakaris. James Threlkel. And Jonathan Vertsonis. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the perfect attendant recipients. We welcome Mr Battle Battlemere Justice and Peace Coordinator to present the Justice and Peace Award recipients to Brother Paul Conn. Morning by the CON, the graduating class of 2020 and the Lewisham community. The following awards are to acknowledge the ongoing commitment these young men have contributed to the Justice of Peace program at Christian Brothers High School, Lewisham. 
St. Vincent de Paul Award for 2020 is presented to Nathan Politis for demonstrating ongoing commitment to community service and for always living the gospel message of serving those in need. Nathan, in sincere appreciation of your proven commitment to bringing dignity, comfort, confidence, hope and joy to those who need it most, congratulations. The St Vincent de Paul Award for 2020 is also awarded to Joshua Puglia for demonstrating an ongoing commitment to community service and for continuously setting a positive example for other students. Joshua, in sincere appreciation of your proven commitment to bringing dignity, comfort, confidence, hope and joy to those who most need it, we thank you and congratulate you. Michael has been, an has been outstanding in his contribution to the Justice and Peace program at Lewisham. He has advocated for numerous justice and peace initiatives throughout his junior years and flourished significantly in his senior years, leading by example as the Justice and, Pe justice and Solidarity Prefect. Throughout 2019 and 2020, Michael committed numerous times helping people experiencing homelessness in Sydney. He helped out with the charity Will to Live, feeding the homeless at Central Station and also the residents of St Vincent's Hospital Tierney House and Matthew Talbot Hostel, operating the, co the kiosk and packing toiletry packages. Michael was an integral member of the Peru Immersion Group of 2019, where he contributed in building a home for an impoverished family in Peru. He also assisted raising much needed funds for the Christian Brothers and our sister school, Falagria 26 by participating in the Went to Sleep Out with Year 8. In addition to the above, Michael was a consistent contributor to the weekly Justice and Peace Senior Advocacy meetings that would organise, organise numerous social justice initiatives to raise awareness of the plights of marginalised groups throughout the wider communities. He also found time to help out with Project Compassion and the Ration Challenge. It is with great pleasure that the school award Michael Moreira with the Justice and Peace Award for 2020. Joshua Puglia. During his time at CBHS Lewisham, Joshua has been a willing and enthusiastic member of the Justice and Peace program. His humility and amiable personality is exhibited in his actions when contributing to a variety of Justice and Peace initiatives that the school have provided. Joshua was a constant name of Matthew Talbot, whether assisting at the kiosk at Woolloomooloo or packing the toiletry packs that would be distributed to men experiencing homelessness. He was selected for the Peru Immersion Group for 2019 and assisted with the Year 8 Sleep Out that raised funds for the Christian Brothers and Fail Agree at 26. Joshua was also a, con a constant at the Justice and Peace Senior Advocacy Group meetings and he also found out time to help out as a reader writer for boys undertaking their exams. The school is pleased to present Joshua with the Justice and Peace Award for 2020. James Rua has been an active supporter of the Justice and Peace program since his primary years at CBHS Lewisham. He has embraced the many opportunities that the school has offered in his senior years and he's gone above and beyond in embracing the touchstone of justice and solidarity. James was an integral member of the senior advocacy group, always contributing to many ideas to create and promote awareness about social justice issues in the wider community participated in the world's greatest shave and the Caritas Project Compassion Fundraisers. He made significant contributions, um, helping people experiencing homelessness at Tierney House, Matthew Talbot, and also the Will to Live charity down at Central Station. James was a member of the school's Justice and Peace Environmental Group and assisted in the Year 8 um, Beyond Borders Sleep Out for Peru. Congratulations to James, who is a worthy recipient for the Justice and Peace Award for 2020.
We welcome Miss Lucy Ferugia, the Principal of CBHS Lewisham, to present the Blue and Gold Award recipients to Brother Paul Con. Good morning to our graduating class of 2020 and to all of our families who are watching at home. I'd like to start by firstly truly commending you on the spirit that in which you have embraced today's festivities, our Mass this morning and our Assembly today. It is so impressive and, uh, and totally a day that we as a staff will always remember fondly. Again, thank you boys. I'm very pleased to be able to talk today a little bit about our Blue and Gold Award. It is named, it is so awarded uh, in recognition of a former student of this school, David Jelwyn. So the award has been in existence since 2014. It is, as Brother Con so nicely puts it, the Players' Player Award. And it is voted upon totally and utterly by the students of Year 12. This boy was presented his award yesterday at the Blue and Gold Lunch. But it is with great pleasure that I re-present to you a student who embodies the spirit of Christian Brothers High School Lewisham and the senior group. Let us acknowledge once more and congratulate Jackson Abreu. And I invite Mr. Dan Valencic, Acting Principal Identity, to present the Father Ted Kennedy Scholarship to Brother Paul Conn. This award is presented in honour and memory of Father Ted Kennedy, after whom our Justice and Peace Centre is named. The award takes the form of a $5,000 scholarship to assist the recipient to pursue further education and training in 2021. Today's worthy recipient has contributed greatly to the many activities that have their genesis in the Justice and Peace Centre, whether it be the very first winter sleep out in 2016, to National Bandana Days, to Caritas Project Compassion Campaigns, his participation in the environmental and the senior advocacy group at Matthew Talbot, where he manned the kiosk, and he also packed toiletries for the male residents, helping out other students as a reader-writer for those who were undertaking their examinations attending St Vincent de Paul's Tierney House, where he helped make pizzas for the residents who are experiencing homelessness. He also participated in the Act for Peace Ration Challenge, and the list goes on and on and on. His most significant contribution was to the weekly visits in terms one to three in year 11 to the Cairnsfoot School a school for severely intellectually disabled students. He's also worked behind the scenes to assist many students to find their place, their voice, and their sense of self-worth here at Lewisham. On behalf of the Kennedy Gould family and of Danny Gilbert, who is the managing partner of Gilbert and Tobin, who cannot be with us today because of COVID-19 restrictions, Please congratulate William Bremner for this award. Congratulations again, William, a very worthy recipient. And finally, I invite Miss 
Lucy Ferrugia, our principal, to present the last of our special awards to Brother Con. Our first of the special awards today is known as the Edmund Rice Award. It is a series of awards that, it, uh, um, that recognises a number of boys from each year group who have particularly captured the spirit of commitment to our school and it is my very great pleasure to present these boys to you this morning. Our first award goes to a student who has been an exemplary student at Christian Brothers High School Lewisham all the way through and his contribution to the life of the school has been outstanding. He has constantly applied himself to all aspects of his studies and has achieved outstanding results throughout his whole schooling career in all areas of the curriculum. Throughout his time at our school, he has actively contributed to the community. His involvement in the school community is best seen through his participation in the school's Peru immersion. The immersion showed the capacity to work effectively with others and demonstrated the deep care he has for those disadvantaged. His dedication to service to others is further demonstrated with his volunteer work at Matthew Talbot Hostel Kiosk, St Vincent's Tierney House and the Will to Live initiative. In the wider school community, he is a member of the school senior advocacy group and has been a part of the school athletics team and is a young man of exemplary character and high standards. Brother Con, with pleasure, I present to you Anthony Fortini. Our next award recipient has been a wonderful ambas ambassador for CBHS. He has modelled perfectly how to act and apply yourself in a school setting. He has demonstrated consistently high levels of effort across all of his courses of study and always goes above and beyond what is expected. He has represented the school in cricket, rugby league and swimming. Off the sporting field, he has taken a leading role in initiatives such as Cards with the Boys and Movember. He helped foster house spirit and has worked with boys in younger year groups, supporting them with improving their social skills and helping them academically. He is an asset to our school community and we will definitely miss his kind, approachable and gentle manner. Brother Con, I present to you Max Gagan. Our next award recipient began life at Lewisham in Year 5, 2013. He is modest, hardworking, loyal, mature, dedicated and practical. He possesses initiative and perspective. In his eight years at Lewisham, his commitment to academia has been outstanding. He has received 10 commendations for effort, first in Geography Stage 5, first in Religious Education Stage 5, first in Studies of Religion, two in Year 11. As a member of the Senior Advocacy, advocacy Group, he has given countless hours of involvement in justice and peace initiatives, Will to Live, Movember fundraising, Matthew Talbot Kiosk, and the Peru Immersion. His passion for politics was the catalyst for his selection to participate in the National Schools Con Constitution Convention in Canberra, but due to the pandemic, it has been postponed. Please welcome, and I congratulate for you, Brother Con, Costa Nicolau.
Our next award recipient is a young man that truly epitomises the values of Edmund Rice. His strength lies in his unwavering determination to do his best and to be the best person he can be. He has received many commendations for effort throughout his schooling and his efforts have been rewarded by achieving a number of academic awards. A quiet, humble and unassuming young man, he lets his actions speak for him. He has contributed to the life of our school and the community in so many ways, including, but not limited, to writing the Gallagher House Prayer. It isn't a surprise that he has taken an active role in social justice as he has got older. He has been involved in the Cansford School Program, Matthew Talbot Kiosk, the Peru Immersion and Movember Fundraising. He has also volunteered as a reader-writer and assisted with the Ferragosto celebrations. Even in his final year, when most students are concentrating on their studies, he is an active member of the Justice and Peace Senior Advocacy Group. This young man lives his life for others. He is well respected amongst his peers and the staff, and it is no surprise to see him elected as a student leader. Families at home, staff and students here, I present to you Joshua Puglia. This student has been an exemplary member of this CBHS community since starting here in Year 5 in 2013. He has continuously offered his time and effort to participate in the co-curricular life of our school, demonstrating his musical talents for others to enjoy. He has volunteered his time on many occasions to work behind the scenes of all musical productions, speech nights, open days and soirees to ensure a smooth, seamless performance. He has been a wonderful role model in this area for his younger peers. Dedicated to standing with the marginalised, he has demonstrated what it means to be a man of justice and solidarity. He has shown this through his volunteer work at Tierney House in the world's greatest shave initiative, participation in the CBHS environmental group, as well as involvement in many project compassion initiatives here at our, at our school, often away from the public eye and without any formal recognition. He has demonstrated true leadership by going about his day-to-day -day life at Lewisham in a manner which does not draw any attention. He is humble and very deser deserving of this award. Brother Con, I present to you Michael Tope. The final recipient of the 2020 Edmund Rice Awards has immersed himself in all aspects of school life since he began in Year 7 in 2015. He has a selfless attitude and epitomises a love of hard work. You will never hear him boast about his achievements, even though they are many, ranging from academic excellence, outstanding attendance record and co-curricular contributions. This recipient has contributed significantly to others within and outside the school. Some examples are his supporting at the MCC Swimming Carnival, assisting as a reader writer and contributing to gaining many house points for his house. His academic achievements have been acknowledged on a number of occasions which have resulted in a commendation for his efforts across many subjects. The most notable accomplishments are his involvement in the social justice initiatives of the school. He has selflessly given his time to assist those in society who are most in need, notably at the Matthew Talbot kiosk and the Cansford School. He is a member of the Senior Advocacy Group and also participated in the Will to Live initiatives to help the needy in society. He was also a member of the Peru Immersion Group 2019. He has not only captured the spirit of Edmund Rice, 
but enacted on it by quietly showing his talents and contributing to the traditions of this school. He encompasses all that Christian Brothers High School stands for. Brother Con, with pleasure, I present to you Adrian Trousdale. Can we congratulate once more our 2020 award winners? <laughs> our final award this morning is the Kananti Corona Award. This outstanding student has had a large impact on the life of Christian Brothers High School Lewisham. He is a true leader and has been, even before being chosen, he has been an outstanding prefect. He has taken the lead in organising a wide range of activities such as Cards with the Boys, a staff wellbeing initiative and Are You OK Day. He has supported the Matthew Talbot kiosk taken a lead role with the Movember fundraising campaign and is part of the Justice and Peace Senior Advocacy Group. Moreover, he is also a coach for the swimming team. There was not much more that he could do for the school that he didn't have a hand in trying for. All of these activities demonstrate the deep care he has always shown for this school community. Any member of our community who has interacted with him will realise that he is a kind, caring and gentle young man. He's been an exemplary member of our school community for eight years and an outstanding role model to others that follow. He is an articulate speaker and has addressed the whole school community during assemblies and has spoken to the whole staff community with humour and ease. His presence around CBHS will certainly be missed but we are sure that he will inspire others to also become the outstanding men of Lewisham. Brother Con, it is a privilege to present to you for outstanding commitment and achievement in the areas of study, leadership and co-curricular activities, the recipient of the 2020 Cananti Corona Award, Daniel Murphy. We've been truly blessed this morning to have enjoyed the talents of our musical Year 12 class. We thank them for their contribution to Mass this morning and we invite them back to stage to uh, present to us the performance Happy Together by the 1960s rock sensations, The Turtles.
Besides me and you, I do I think about you day and night It's only right to think about the girl you love And hold her tight so I'll be together If I should call you up, invest the time And you say you belong to me And ease my mind, imagine how the world could be So very fine, so I'll be together Much. Let's give them another round of applause for that profound performance. <laughs> Brother Con, Miss Ferrugia, staff, students, parents and friends, most of all to the Year 12 cohort of 2020. Gentlemen, no more bells, no more school uniform, no more textbooks, and I'll let you add your own no more categories here. 13 years, 13 formal years have come to conclusion. I know it comes with an array of mixed feelings, from jubilation, trepidation, and perhaps even a touch of sadness. Your journey at CBHS has finally ended and a new dawn awaits you. Take forward in 2021 all that was enriching from school life. Mix it with your family values to continue the old age alchemy of turning boys to men, but more precisely, gentlemen. I hope you can see that this is not just an ending, but a new beginning. You will be exposed to many new challenges and many new opportunities in the coming months. Seize with both hands all that awaits you. Let your decisions be guided by your family values of love, respect, justice for those around you and be assured that your school has tried to reflect these same values during your time at CBHS. Hold dear the four touchstones, gospel values, sorry, gospel spirituality, inclusive community, liberating education and justice and solidarity as you walk out these gates for the final time. These touchstones did not teach you to be a passenger in life. Stand tall. Don't walk past someone that you know, sorry, don't walk past something that you know is wrong. Keep building on knowing who you are and what you stand for, so as to make a difference in the world, making your own mark. I have had the honour of observing your growth from year seven, and I know your parents are proud of you, as I am today, if not more. 
They may be not with you today physically, but during this graduation, they are with you spiritually, watching from their homes or workplaces. I would like to acknowledge their acceptance and understanding that their son's graduation ceremony this year is very different, and your patience is genuinely appreciated. Much has changed from year five to year 12, from shorts to long pants, smooth skin to prickly stubble, from the front seat of the bus to the back seat, and from a single packet of tiny teddies for morning tea to a hamburger, large carton of chocolate milk and potato wedges just as an entree for morning tea. The school is thankful for your spirit of volunteering. Your contributions we've heard today have made a difference in Lewisham, making it a much better place than how you found it. From those early days when you volunteered for the primary gala days, do you remember winning the Brad Mackay Rugby Sevens tournament? And then on to the secondary teams, debating teams, sporting teams, cultural events, right up to the year 12 volunteering for the Matt Talbot Hostel, the Cairnsfoot School. Your collective involvement in sports, the music, bands, debating, the arts, the justice and peace initiatives have contributed to the positive culture within this school. And you are an excellent example to the younger members. What has been most evident over the years is your general care and concern for each other, displaying that basic human need for connectedness and mateship. The first major bonding was at year five camp, then the year seven camp, your year nine Rubicon experience, Quo Vardis, and most recently, the Rite of Passage. All those different sessions, it is hoped that they have equipped you with a healthy mindset to begin a new journey after Lewisham. I would like to conclude with five pieces of advice. One, never lose your sense of discipline, organisation, and your pursuit for achieving your best. Two, continue to practise humility, integrity, understanding, acceptance, compassion. Never doubt these core values. At times, it won't be easy, but hold firm. <clears throat> be chivalrous. How? Put others first. Serve others. Practice manners and etiquette. It is never not appreciated and it will set you apart from the crowd. Never lose your thirst for learning. Take responsibility and accountability for your own learning. Five, create community wherever you go. As I quoted yesterday, if you want to travel fast, travel alone. If you want to travel far, travel together. My closing words to you are this. Know that you have the benefit of a school of 129 years history behind it. You are entering a golden period of your life. Armed with your family values and the four touchstones, leave here with confidence, conviction, and most importantly, hope. Continue to spread hope. Hope in your future, hope in everybody's future. With the possession, possession of hope, you can conquer anything. Finally, I wish you all every success in life after Lewisham, can anti-corona. Good morning, Brother Con, staff, graduating class of 2020, and all family members watching from home. It gives me great pleasure to present to you the graduating young men of Year 12 Brady 2020. William Abu Araj. Georgia Abuslev. Michael Bashara. Ephraim Bolos. Jack Busatil. Charlie Saclawi. 
I look school. Emmanuel Dufresne. Sammy Hapku. Jordan Kamensky. Declan Lynch. Michael Marinos. Costa Panagiotidis. Nathan Plotus. James Rua. Nicholas Solis. James Rockhill. Jordan Trisillo. Andrew Vlahadimus. And Alex Zajikowski. Please join me in congratulating Year 12 Brave 2020. Good morning, Brother Con, Ms. Ferugia, staff, graduating class of 2020, and all family members watching from home. I'd just like to introduce, introduce and explain what's happening on stage here um, as we introduce each of the roll calls from each house. Uh, Brother Paul Con, the school principal, will present each graduate with their, with their portfolio. Mr. Peter Rumi, a CBHS Lewisham Old Boy, is presenting the boys with the Old Boys tie, and each Year 12 homeroom teacher will present a prayer book to each of the Year 12 students. It gives me great pleasure to present to you the graduating men from Year 12 Gallagher. Christian Abru. Jackson Abru. Patrick Alexiadis. Juan De Silva. Delianus. Jaden Olazi. Kai Hammond. Tom Corrales. Ethan Mercado. James Nikas. Liam O'Neill. Joshua Puglia. Jaden Santos. John Sulemesis. and Jaden Zabala. Please join me in congratulating the boys from 12 Gallagher. Well done, Mr. Zabala.
Good morning, Brother Con, Miss Ferugia, staff, graduating class of 2020, and family members watching from home. It gives me great pleasure to present you, the graduating young men of Year 12 Healy, Isaac Ornans. Brody Baxter. William Bremner. Benjamin Budniak. Alex Colazzo. Jonathan Kremen. Joshua Dambiek. Alexander Harb. Charlie Knowles. Edmund Lau. Javier Loeza. Michael Ma. Benjamin McGettigan. George Panagiotlaris. George Potomatis. Dean Zillopatis. Benjamin Smith. Michael Toke. James Yu. and Nathan Zaguris. Please join me in congratulating U12 Healy. Good morning, Brother Con, Miss Faruja, staff, graduating class of 2020, and all family members watching at home. It gives me great pleasure to present to you the graduating young men of Year 12 Kearney for 2020. Nicholas Badron. Matthew Bennett. Jaden DeFreitas. See how to. Massimo Galimi. James Habib. Tom Holland. Daniel Nader. Sebastian Sarkis. Terry Sarkis. Ellis Sheriff.
Sebastian Stivaletta. Matthew Turner. And Emmanuel Vlahos. Please join me in congratulating the fine young men of Utah County. Good morning, Brother Khan, staff, graduating class of 2020, and all family members watching from home. It gives me great pleasure to present to you the graduating class of Year 12 McGee 2020. Emmanuel Andrew Larkas. Christian Blasquez. Nicholas Demiglio. Mason Fernandez. Christian Kurtzi. Joshua Malouf. Stephen Makakis. Dragon Mavra. Augustine McBride. Michael Marrera. Carmelo Romeo. Dominic Sayer. Carmelo Salas. Daniel Tawadros. Adrian Trousdale.
Thomas Yunnan. Please join me in congratulating Year 12 McGee 2020. Good morning, Brother Con, Miss Faruja, staff, graduating class of 2020, and all family members watching from home. It gives me great pleasure to present to you the graduating young men of Year 12 in O'Neill 2020. Chris Abraham. Jaden Barakat. Yannick Pilkins. Stephen Cow. Carl Cassia. Adam DeSisto. Anthony Fortini. Francesco Fresto. Max Gagan. Patrick Hughes. Ignatius Law. Taylor Lewis. Jack Logan. Daniel Lovibond. Daniel Murphy. Brandon Nasser. Eurasimus Pappas. Joseph Sarkis. Joseph Suka, Christian Thomas, please join me in congratulating the young men of Year 12 O'Neill. Good morning, Brother Con, staff, graduating class of 2020, and all family members watching from home. It gives me great pleasure to present to you the graduating young men of Year 12 Tracy 2020. Robert Akuri. Travis El Hindi. Angus Kennedy Mulgrew.
Stephen Kutsumis. Michael LaRusso. Connor Magiasis. Nicholas Malako. Jack Nicolau. Andrew Park. Ivan Peros. Max Petrolo. Shabel Somani. Noah Souza. Yanni Tricolis. Loris Tremaki. Tyrese Tutudua. Justin Velofsky. Sam Vo. And Philip Zhang. Please join me in congratulating Year 12 Tracy 2020. Good afternoon, Brother Con, Ms Ferugia, staff, graduating class of 2020, and all family, members and friends watching from home. It gives me great pleasure to present to you the graduating young men of Year 12 Win 2020, Sebastian Arnoni. Christian Brohier. Christian Di Chiara. Ethan Di Chiara. Aidan Georgiadis. Tristan Grish. Marco Giagodi. Luke Iacona. Daniel K. Roos. Mm -hmm. 
Anthony Kurt. Luke Kakaris. Michael Latouf. Domenico Montemuro. Costa Nicolau. Joshua Oleko. Stephen Plagisos. Adam Saad. Michael Saman. John Suez. Thomas Salmi. Peter Stevens. Daniel Tardelli. And Jonathan Versonis. Please join me in congratulating the graduating class of 12 Win 2020. In the tradition of Christian Brothers Lewisham, there are four symbols which remind us of who we are and what we stand for. I ask John, Michael, Anthony and James to collect these symbols in readiness for passing on to future leaders. Michael is carrying the Edmund Rice icon, which symbolises our connection to the Christian brothers and the charism of Edmund Rice.
John is carrying the school Bible, which contains the living word of God, whose message remains at the centre of our school community. Anthony is carrying the original registry of school enrolments from 1891, which contains the names of hundreds of men from the past 129 years of our school's history. The graduation class of 2020 now add their names alongside those who went before them. Finally, James is carrying the 2020 school candle. This symbol links us to Christ and reminds us that we are Christ's light in the world today. At the conclusion of today's graduation assembly, these symbols will be carefully carried to the chapel where they will be held in safekeeping, awaiting the election of our prefect body for 2021. As the Year 12 boys entered the hall today, they were wearing their current senior tie. When they come back soon, they will be wearing their old boys tie. This new tie is a special symbol that their educational time at Lewisham has concluded. However, the new tie symbolises that their connection to our community is constant. I now invite the graduating class of 2020 to possess from the hall into the McDonald's Centre foyer and re-enter as the old boys of Christian Brothers High School Lewisham. graduates and newly inducted old boys of CBHS Lewisham.
Welcome all, boys. And I now pass over to our uh, principal, the oldest, uh, oldest serving, oldest serving principal of Christian Brothers Lewisham, Brother Paul Conn. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. You guys might remember when you were in year five at the graduation ceremony, I did a rap. Don't get too excited. Eight years later, I can't do a rap. Oh. What I have done is I've invited four hard-hitting investigative journalists to come and grill me over the last uh, 13 years. So we've got the journalistic team of Costa, James, Anthony and Patrick. If they could come to the stage and they're going to give me an absolute grilling of an interview. Thank you, Brother Con, for taking the time to talk to us. It's a pleasure, always a pleasure, Costa. Can you tell me some of the things that you found joyful during your time at CBHS? Definitely working with Year 12. Year 12 traditionally always have a fantastic sense of humour, as defined nicely in that video yesterday. You guys have got to chip in and buy, someone's got to buy Nicholas a new shirt. Definitely. Gentlemen, I do enjoy working with Year 12 because by Year 12 you guys have a sense of humour and you always have that in the right sense. You never have to say that you're going across a boundary or anything and I think we do say that we treat you like young men and the part of being treated like the young men I appreciate the most is the sense of humour. You know, it is great when you can come to school, whether it be in the Year 12 eating area or in the prefects meeting, to have a really good laugh. So that's what I would enjoy the most. What have been the saddest times? Definitely the saddest times was the death of two students. Uh, David Gelwin in particular, he was a, a member of the school community, uh, thought he got over cancer and he uh, died of the treatment from cancer. However, that was the start of the Blue and Gold uh, lunch and uh, award. But also, when I remember back to that day, I'll always remember 150 outstandingly dressed Lewisham men at Our Lady of Lourdes and the way that the guys uh, helped the family in that sad time was always special. So even in that very, very sad time, the spirit of Luo Brotherhood was just so obvious with his mates who basically gave him a guard of honour and the family were very supportive. What would you say have been the greatest challenges? Is he definitely social media. I think uh, while we're using social media today to uh, transmit to your parents and grandparents, that's a good thing. But unfortunately, there is just so much rubbish on social media. And I urge you guys not to get involved in the negativity of social media. Sometimes people get really negative, they get nasty messages. So understand that social media can be used for good, but when it's not used for good, make sure that you ignore it. The other thing is what I call culture wars. I think nowadays people want us to either be conservative or progressive. They want us to be the left or right. And I would say that we're none of all of that. We're proud to be Christian Brothers High School Lewisham. We celebrate the touchstones and we make sure that we continue that sense of Luo Brotherhood well until the into the future. I look forward to having a drink with you guys in hotels all around Sydney. So brother, what are your hopes for the future? For me, I would hope that Christian Brothers High School Lewisham never loses that sense of right relationships and brotherhood. You know, yesterday it was just so obvious, particularly in the blue and gold lunch. You know, you guys have had a, a really bad year, and I know we're avoiding negative language, but we have to put our hand up and say that COVID-19 had a really negative effect. And yet you guys were able to lead the school community and be incredibly good role models for everybody. So I hope that the future generations never lose that. I am disappointed we haven't got the whole school community here today. Because what happens is the whole school community sees how you guys are and they put their hand up and say, I want to be like them in year 12. I hope that never changes. What do you think are some of your best achievements, brother? 
I don't really think that I've achieved much. I think the school leadership team has achieved a lot, and I think the student body has achieved a lot. Obviously, my energy has been in things like Terrigal, Rubicon, Peru. I uh, very much enjoy the Peru. I very much enjoy the Aboriginal program. But I also enjoy just walking in the yard every time I've been on at least one bus duty or one yard duty, and that's what I think is the most achievement, to be able to enjoy the company of Lewisham young men. What are some of the difficulty, difficulties facing the school brother? I'm glad that a lot of people got recognition for mental health today. If people ask me what are the biggest changes since you guys started as kindy and I started my first day here, it has been mental health issues for adolescent males. And so I really do urge you guys to continue to talk to each other. I think mental health is as good as it is in any boys' school at our school because you guys trust each other, you trust your teachers and you talk to each other. So I do think that mental health is uh, an issue and I do urge you to reach out to each other, particularly in times and make sure that you look after each other when you leave school. Oftentimes it is a difficult time before you start your uni work or an apprenticeship and people get a little bit down. So please keep on looking after your Luo brothers. Is there one funny moment that stands out? I'm going to tell the story. It's got a swear word at the end, so I'll try and be careful. Um, my first year here, I was teaching two-unit maths. I've always taught two-unit maths or Aboriginal studies. And it was a Friday afternoon. Kids were starting to fall asleep. Uh, and the, after a very difficult and long equation, the answer was 4x. So I said to the boys, what's 4x? And one boy said, it's the answer. And I said, no, it's not. It's the best beer in Australia. So they all laughed. And then one boy put his hand up and said, do you know why I call it 4x, don't you? And I said, I know, because we Queenslanders can't read. And he said, no, you're not allowed to write shit on the bottle. <laughs> and brother, as you finish your time here at Lewisham, do you have one final word for all of us? I do. I just want to really congratulate and thank Year 12 2020 for your outstanding leadership. Never before in 129 years, even in world wars and things like that, I don't think there's been a more difficult year to provide leadership to the school. So from all the school leadership team, the board, the teachers, everybody, thank you and congratulations. When you do leave here today, I hope that you are justifiably proud of what you achieved. Okay, thank you. Thank you to our investigative team. Thank you, boys. That concludes our Year 12 graduation assembly for today. But before we close, events like this do not occur easily. And I'd like to ask Dan to come up on stage. I can call him Dan in front of the old boys now, but Dan, come up on stage. Uh, Dan has gone to a lot of effort to put this on for you today and for the parents at home. Uh, it hasn't been easy. It's taken a hell of a lot of hours in preparation, working late at night, getting here very early in the morning, and for you and for your parents at home. So I think it's been a very successful day, and I'd like to congratulate Dan on all the work he's done today. Also, I'd like to thank the maintenance staff, especially John and Gino, who have been through hell this week. Um, Mrs. Cassanidi, Mrs. O'Brien, Mr. Molino, uh, Mrs. Cunliffe, uh, Mrs. Dallywall, Mr. Munos, and the IT team who have put on today's performance for your parents, and Mrs. Slimnos for the live streaming of today's events. I ask all of you to uh, congratulate these parents and thank, uh, sorry, congratulate these people and thank them for uh, putting on today's show. <laughs> to the parents, family and friends watching at home, we know how difficult it, it has been not being here today with your sons. Uh, we hope we have paid a suitable tr tribute to your son's time here at CBHS Lewisham. With this modified ceremony, we're extremely proud of their time. They have been here as students, and uh, particularly during this year. 
To the school community, thank you for your kind cooperation and attention. It has been appreciated by all the students here today. Thank you and good afternoon.